Hey guys, you just here. Welcome back to another Gears of War 4 video. Today we are going to be discussing and what can we expect in 2017 for Gears 4. Gears of War 4 has been out for about three months now, and after seeing everything that released in 2016, there are a few things that we know will be coming, but of course, there is always a speculation of what could possibly be coming. So, in my honest opinion, here is what I think we can expect in 2017. For new multiplayer maps, it's already been confirmed. We will be getting two added every Every single month for a year cycle which would bring us to about September time and then after that it all depends on the coalition's plans of the franchise as by then later this year in September Gears of War 5 should be strongly into development for gear packs we can expect to see new esport packs to continue supporting the Gears 4 esports scene including the supporter packs for each city location a LAN event is held at, as well as a possible supporter pack free that will again offer a new customization set, similar to the Black Steel and Graffiti for anybody who is still interested in those. Myself, personally, not really. More holiday themed gear packs to celebrate at least Valentine's Day and Easter, most likely introducing themed characters and weapon skins. For community gear packs like the 10th anniversary and the UIR, it's possible we can expect to see more of those gear packs later this year as the game will need new content into the future. There can't just be new maps planned for the future. So based on what has been released so far, I do think there is a very good chance still that we could actually see a Locus themed gear pack similar to what the UIR pack offers. A huge reason why I think we could see a Locus gear pack is because the only new characters that have been added to multiplayer so far are those being Gary Carmine and the UIR soldiers who are already designed in the game. They are featured in the campaign which is the same thing that you could say and goes for the Locust as well. They are already designed in the game, they are already featured in the campaign as well. So the work and effort it would take would be a lot less to release the Locust in multiplayer just compared to designing new characters entirely. For new characters I do still think there is a slight chance we can maybe expect to see a few legacy characters here and there but not anytime soon as the development process does take some time before they are ready to release. For new game modes I do think we can expect to see a few this year especially those returning from old games as it was originally announced for the season pass that all holders would have a chance to try out new game modes in the developer playlist where the new maps are available first but I would expect just new game modes in general just to mix up the game experience. For new game features we can obviously expect them to be added throughout the title updates released every single month as the Coalition Studio are fully aware of things like pre-game lobbies and actual quit penalties but do take some time to develop before they are available to be put into the game via an update. For new re-ups and levels I do think we can actually expect more to be added as well this year because some players who have been grinding the game to re-up 10 already are forced to be re-up 10 at level 1 because the XP required simply to level 2 is a crazy amount being 2,147,483,640 which to me just sounds like a placeholder number just to keep all players who have grinded the game to re-up 10 already at re-up 10 level 1 until more level progression is added to the game through new levels and re-ups. We should expect to see the Coalition Army membership rewards being these two exclusive weapon skins released this year as well as they were announced last year but a release date was never mentioned. Then lastly the same goes for the Gears 4 R Armor Design Contest as it was announced as well that if you purchase and play before December 31st you should receive these five design armor skins for free at some point but a release date has never ever been announced for that either. So there you have it that is everything I think personally we can expect to see for Gears of War 4 in 2017. Of course this is all my honest opinion and based mostly on what we have seen so far released for the game and what's realistically making sense. The Kyle Edition Studio could release anything and everything for the game, surprising anyone at any given time. It all depends on on what they have planned and obviously what is possible. Please make sure to leave me a comment down below telling me what you think. What do you expect to see released for Gears of War 4 this year in 2017? Give the video a thumbs up and share if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you aren't already. Thanks for watching and as always I shall see you in the next one.